Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a room tour of my kids bedroom. It's dinosaur themed which I'm guessing you can probably tell from what's behind me. It's also a bunk bed bedroom as you can probably see and there are two kids in here so I'm going to show you how we've arranged like storage and things like that and how it all works. So if you want to see then keep watching. So as a bit of background before I start the tour, for any of you that aren't new, this is my little boy and my little girl's bedroom. So Bill is seven and Daisy is three and typically I guess it wouldn't be the most logical pairing but in terms of their sleeping patterns and when they go to bed and generally what they're into, it makes more sense to put these two together now rather than put our 19 month old in with one of the two of them because he's more likely to wait because of teething and things like that and it's just worked out really really well. Now both kids love dinosaurs but it's particularly Bill that's into them so the reason why we chose to go with the dinosaur theme is that eventually in the new year because we're getting an extension Daisy is going to move in and get her own bedroom so rather than decorate twice we decided to go for like a fun theme that both kids would enjoy in fact all three kids love being in here but then we don't need to redecorate again and waste money and things like that so hopefully you really enjoy this I will give you a walk around like I will turn the camera around and just show you as I see it and talk you through everything and what we chose and where it's all from and things like that so yeah I'm gonna crack into it now so this is what their door to the bedroom looks like ah house isn't actually massive by any means because we live in a dormer bungalow so I've learned over the years how to maximize on space so you'll see when we go into this room that it's not massive at all <laughs> but I think we've done a really really good job so this is what it looks like as you walk in and there's more stuff just behind the door here but I will step back just so you can see the bed in all of its glory so this bunk bed is actually from Ikea it was probably one of the cheapest bunk beds that we could actually find we're big Ikea fans and we don't tend to spend too much on furniture we just try and find like good quality that's also affordable as well now you'll notice that the wardrobe is white and the bed is obviously like a light pine color but I actually feel like with the theme it goes quite well and we're so pleased with this it did take a while to build but <laughs> We got there in the end, Mark did a really good job, he did most of that to be fair. So that is the bunk bed here and then as you turn the corner I'll give you a quick overview first and then I'll walk you through everything. So we've got like nice lampshade here, that's also from Ikea and then this is the Pax wardrobe system from Ikea again and this was it was quite expensive but when you see the way we've used it I feel like we spent our money really well there and we really like the mirror in it so as Bill gets older and even Daisy in the interim they can like see how they look and they can get ready because they both take pride in their appearance. Then over here is the way the beds look at the moment. As I mentioned it's not a huge room but there's plenty of space for the two of them so Daisy is in the bottom bunk because as I mentioned she's only three and then Bill is at the top bunk there and <laughs> they've got their pyjamas out ready for later on tonight. So before I go into all the details around the room I thought I would come and show you from the opposite side so this is just across from the bed here and this is what's behind the door when it's open and as I mentioned before this is a dormer bungalow so we have this room cut into the eaves of the house so that's like where our roof would be here and it's a bit awkward sometimes but we've managed to fit in quite a lot into this space and it's kind of a bit of a feature as well so they've got a toy box down here again this is Ikea and then this is a Billy bookcase from Ikea as well. These are very, very cheap and we've had this ever since we moved here, so a good five years or so. And I feel like we've got quite a lot in here and there's plenty of space as well if you see down here to play. So there's loads of space so where they can sit and play. They play Lego or play with like the toys, they read together, all three of them. We can all fit in here quite nicely, but I will show you starting from the bed. So as I mentioned, the bed is from Ikea and the bedding is actually from eBay. I found it elsewhere online, but it was quite expensive and I was really trying to find a dinosaur themed bedding that wasn't like too garish or too bright and colorful because I didn't want the kids to feel like overwhelmed when they came into the room because while there's a theme, it's all very easy to sort of switch out and change if that makes sense. So that's where those are from and they've lasted really well. They wash nicely. They've been washed several times as you can imagine with kids and um, they do the job really well 
well and I think that they fit in with the colour scheme really nicely as well so we bought the bedding set and then you had to buy the sheet separately but I'm really 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 pleased with these and it is quite nice to have the matching as well but when it gets closer to Christmas because it's November at the moment we will put their Christmas bedding on and they don't particularly match but who cares when it's Christmas now you'll notice behind the bed is just a plain wall but we've actually got decals on there and these are dinosaur decals that I bought from not on the high street if I remember correctly I will link everything that I can still find and that's available down below for you you can also see just here that Bill has also added his own decorations in the form of some Pokemon stickers but if you can't let your kids decorate their bedroom with things that they love then like you know what is this world day eh? so it's not as aesthetically pleasing as what it once was when we decorate it but it makes him happy but yeah that is the way the bed situation works and I will take you up to Bill's bunk now so you can see like how much space there is and that kind of thing so this is what it looks like up here for Bill. It's nice and tidy at the moment for the purpose of this video, but wow, our bunk bed's hard to make when it comes to doing the bedding. It's a nightmare. I get stuck up here. I'm not built for climbing these steps, obviously, but it does the job. He's got plenty of headspace. He can sit up and read, and you can see in the corner there, he's got a couple of Pokemon books, and this does him really nicely. So I just thought I would show a few details from the end of the bed here. So we have this little sign, which I actually bought a pack of these from Amazon and then I decorated them with a sharpie myself just like little phrases you'll see a couple of them around the room there's one on their door as I showed before and there's one here and there's one on the wardrobe then these lights are from not on the high street they are kind of like geometric t-rex dinosaurs and the bright orange which ties everything in really nicely then the leaves are actually leftover party decorations from bill's birthday party we hosted it at home and i thought they would fit in really nicely here and decorate the bed and it seemed a shame to waste them so they are just stuck on nicely sometimes stan pulls them off but they've got little sticky things that help them stick and they've lasted really well so that is generally how the bed works and then the reason why this is such a delayed video is that one thing we really struggled with was finding reading lights so I've turned these two on to show you for now but they're actually from Argos and I wanted something that wasn't going to be black or really garish but also quite flexible and child friendly so these move so you can point them in various directions depending on what you want to do they're nice and bright they have clamps so they clamp onto the bunk bed really well and then it's quite an easy switch to use so both children in fact even Stan knows how to turn these on and off and they've just worked out really well so this is Daisy here and then Bill's is also up there and it just means that if she is asleep and she sleeps quite soundly when she's asleep he can still read in bed because he goes to bed a little bit later than her and it's just completely transformed the space for them because they've got their own like levels of light then and um, it's not like isolating for one child or frustrating for one child because they can do what they want to do another feature that I wanted to show you well I say feature it's not a feature but it's just had like a tip really um this is Daisy's bed that I'm lying on at the moment so you can see I'm on her bed and that's the rest of the room but above her is obviously Bill's bed and we thought when we moved her into this room we wanted to, her to feel like it was her space too and make her feel like comfortable and at home because it was quite a big deal at the time and I had these little Polaroid pictures anyway so I tucked them into the two slats here so when she goes to bed at night she can look up and see her family and it's just a reassurance she likes to talk about them every single night anyway and she asked me to talk through when each one was taken and where we were and things like that and it's just really helped her she wasn't actually fuss moving in here anyway but I think it's because we put a lot of extra effort into making it look like her space and making her feel included so I can really recommend doing something like that or like adding glow in the dark stars for example might be really useful or like a little note something like that but it's um it's really made her happy so I thought I would mention that too one thing we haven't actually changed at all is the carpet because we did this carpet it back when Bill was about three years old and it's still in really good condition and the rug was actually back from when his room was first decorated back then at three so this was from H&M I believe so it's unfortunately not available anymore but it's quite useful because you can chuck it in the wash and it just adds a bit of decoration onto the floor really so that's the flooring covered then over here at the side of the wardrobe I've just put this little hanging thing this is actually old again reused from when it used to be 
obviously in Daisy's bedroom and it's just handy because it's next to her bed so she can like put a beaker of juice in there or water um, she's got like a comfort blanket here and she can put little trinkets in as and when she needs to one thing that we are thinking about is possibly getting like a little shelf for Bill somewhere so we can store some books and things like that but we've not really seen anything that we like because we don't want it to like knock him on the head or anything like that if you know what I mean so if you have any suggestions by all means let us know but moving on we have a fabric um like basket box here that was from ebay and that's got all the daisies teddies and like some babas and dolls that she likes to keep in a room and then this is bills as well so that one was also i think it was from amazon that one they're quite inexpensive but they just do the job and they're quite easy to move around because as you can see they both have handles so they get moved around all the time and played with and all of my children are really into their stuffed animals so we had to make those feature of the room <laughs> but this is the wardrobe and this is me and I absolutely love this I am so glad that we spent a little bit of extra money we spent more on the wardrobe than we did the bed or anything else and um, it's done a really really good job so this section here is Bill's and this section is Daisy's so as you can see here now this is open the storage is absolutely fantastic and we've never ever had any Pax wardrobes before but they are so customizable they're so like flexible you can chop and change things around and they will grow with your kids or even like as an adult they'll grow with you throughout life you don't have to just have them set up this way because for example as the kids get older and their clothes get longer we can like chop and change this around we can get rid of this shelf up here and take the rail up so there's more hanging space so it's really it's fantastic I can't recommend them enough but this is all of Daisy's like kind of dresses or nice tops and that kind of thing there are a lot of summer items in here so half of these at the moment she's not wearing but because she grows quite slowly I'm hoping we can rewear them next year so I'm not going to get rid of them all just yet but that's why it's so packed then up here we have a basket of summer pajamas because we have to hide those out of the way otherwise you wear them all the time and get cold at night and then we also have some like training mats you know like for bed wetting and that kind of thing but we don't actually need them anymore so i've just kept them up there for when it stands turn in a year or so because there's no point wasting them then down here is where the magic happens <laughs> with storage so this in the front section here comes all the way out so daisy can pull it out really easily herself in this section here we have like underwear and um vests and things like that as well so keeps her nice and warm and then we also have two boxes here so in this one we've got lots of socks and then in these two we have tights and then here are all of her like hair bobbles and hair accessories of which she has a lot because she's a very very girly girl and then downside here we've got like hair products and brushes and that kind of thing for doing her hair she can access all of these really easily so every morning she can pick all of her own clothes and she just loves it it really really helps them become a bit more independent doing things like this then in this drawer we have pajamas and i roll everything up so she can see which ones she wants they all match so there's like a top and a bottom in each roll if that makes sense and then in this basket here is where her ballet stuff normally goes but it's currently in the wash because we had ballet yesterday so that's that drawer then in here a loads of different tops again I do the roll up method I think it's that Marie Kondo method never really got into it but it really really does help with being able to see everything that you've got especially with kids clothes because they can see what they've got as well and this is on their level as well so they can pick and choose quite easily without needing your help with hangers and stuff and then down at, here at the bottom are like bottoms so like trousers jeans skirts that kind of thing and it's all ready and organized for her so it's just just fantastic and this is one of the best buys that we've had so far so now on to bill's side so let's open this up this is the other sign that i made it just says rawsome <laughs> i tried to be cool um so in here we have a similar setup except his is slightly larger mainly because his clothes are bigger and this will be his room permanently so it made sense but this is a very similar layout up here we just have like old school books or things and bits and bobs that we need to keep out of the way like a spare bag a collection of coins that kind of thing and then these are all of his hung up clothes so t-shirts tops trousers fleeces that kind of thing and then down here this drawer comes out again as daisies do and there's a similar setup really so in here we've got school socks then we have everyday socks in this bit which i've covered up with hats are like his underwear the hats would normally be down here so he can access them when he needs them then in this section he's got his jiu-jitsu stuff and at the back here is his beavers like jacket and his little necker and also his beavers folders and this is just so handy 
handy again because he is able to like organize himself then and get what he needs and he knows where everything is and there's just plenty of space then again it was as with daisies all of his pajamas are here and rolled up ready to go some of these are like summer ones here and then others are like winter fleecy ones he loves the fleecy pajama does my boy then underneath here is like school stuff because we regularly need to chop and change like t-shirts like polo necks anyway and it's just easier to have them all down here rather than hung up and then at the bottom is a bit of a random drawer with like shorts and swimming stuff and like random bits in but i'm sure as he gets older these will fill up a little bit more depending on the different clubs and activities that he does so that is his wardrobe and as i said just absolutely love them and they've made our lives so much easier the really nice thing about these is that they almost touch the ceiling as you can see so bill's pokemon collection is here and he reaches across and puts them up there <laughs> so his brother and sister can't get them and then we've got three storage boxes on the top and they are like memory boxes really so just like special things for each of the children that we kept safe because they're important to them or to us and it uses all of this space so nothing's wasted whereas we used to have a wardrobe in here a single wardrobe for bill and a chest of drawers and that took up so much more space and we wouldn't have been able to fit everything in but now we can and i just love them so yeah i've waxed lyrical about them enough but they are my best buy of this year now the light fixture here i wanted to bring in something like wood themed again so this is like a bamboo light and it matches and ties in with the bed and i also feel like it also ties the bed and the carpet in together as well because there's a few neutral colors in here then and then for the most part everything else is white then over here is just a fake plant to add to that kind of like jungle dinosaur vibe that we're going for this is again ikea just really affordable and then this is like the big window these are like really old fashioned windows. They like pull out rather than like open as normal windows would, if that makes sense. They are probably a bit old and they need replacing eventually, but they'll do for the time being. And then up here is a blind that we had fitted when we first decorated Bill's room when he was three and it has lasted fine. It's a blackout blind. It's not the prettiest, but it does a really good job. Then this is going to be like Marmite for some of you, I'm sure. And it's all right if you hate it because we don't. <laughs> but it is a green radiator we have a very old style radiator in here so it's from one of the proper like rusty like big metal ones and we aren't in the position to replace this at the moment because all of our funds have gone on to like remortgaging and preparing for our extension but i thought right i'm going to make a feature of it because it was a bit of an eyesore and it needed painting again anyway but this is a valspar paint now i'll leave all of the particular colors down below but this is specially made for metal and wood and that kind of thing it has done really fine with being heated up and then going cool again not had any issues whatsoever but i just think it looks fantastic in this room i just think it looks really different and it was so inexpensive in comparison to like you know replacing the radiator and it's still doing a really good job and i just love how it ties in like the whole green dinosaur element and then as you can see i moved this basket out of the way but that normally goes in the corner there and then this lego box was actually mine and my brothers when we were little so we still have that some of the lego in there is actually ours and then the kids have added to that so that stays there just so the kids can play with it they often come in here all three of them and we'll play lego together and it's just a really nice space because there's plenty of room as you can see and it works out really nicely this guy here was from argos i think he was actually and i got him as a surprise for the kids as like a room mascot and the idea behind it was was just like to encourage them to like be nice to each other and like this is your room and you can give him a name and he's going to look out for you and you're going to look out for each other and it seemed to work quite well and actually the person that's most enamored with it is stan so he comes in here a lot and gives him a cuddle and says dinosaur rah he very much sounds like george pick <laughs> so he's there just to like add a bit of fun to the room and he was actually really affordable because some of these giant teddy bears can cost you an arm and a leg but he wasn't too expensive at all then over here as i mentioned before is like toy storage so ironically we had a w in here anyway for bill's room and then daisy had a d in her room so it's nice to see their two initials next to each other and then this was just um it was a present actually from bill's grandparents on his dad's side i believe and he has that here so he can play with it but it kind of looks quite good as a decoration so the kids put that on a lot and if you open it up it like growls <laughs> so he loves that and then in here these top two drawers are full of like dinosaurs and different toys and then crafty bits in here so these um 
beads what are they called aqua beads the kids are obsessed with them they make stuff out of that all the time and then in here we have dressing up stuff so this is really handy for you know when you, your school does like a special theme like we had pirates week recently and then we've had like mini beasts and all sorts like halloween that kind of thing we keep all of the dressing up stuff and we keep it safely where they can play with it and reuse it and get the most like wear out of it for the money that we spent but then as the other two get older hopefully those days come around again we can reuse them that's my theory so that is one box and then this is another so there's all sorts in there and um the kids really like to dress up and i feel like the bedroom is probably the best place to keep all of those so that's where they are and then here is our book collection really i went through all of this when we updated this bedroom and we put some more age appropriate books in stan's room so if you haven't seen stan's room tour yet which is kind of like a woodland theme then i will leave that link down below too so he has lots of books in there and in his room we also have most of the christmas books as well ready for this time of year so it's really handy to know where they all are but now we just have a selection of books that we really really love and the kids really enjoy so we've got like the larger ones down there medium sized one here and then like older books for Bill really so we've got like Roald Dahl we've got um David Walliams, Enid Blyton, loads of different books for him to read. He's more into fact over fiction but that's fine we've all got different preferences so that fits in there really nicely and then we just like there's just loads of little kiddie bits and bobs here so like Game Boy games, well Nintendo games I should get say it's not called a Game Boy anymore. These are photos that Bill had in his room anyway and he likes to keep them out so it's very touching bless his heart. Then this one this little guy we made for school recently because Bill is eco-counsellor and he wanted to teach his classmates more about recycling so we made him out of an apple carton and he lives here because he's very proud of him. <laughs> we have his DS case here and then there's the rest of the books. This light was actually a birthday present for Bill and it fits in really nicely so it can change colour. You can set it on this one where it changes repeatedly or you can just pick one colour and the kids really really like that and it gives a nice like night light glow at night as well which is how Andy. And then finally at the top here we have two different clocks. So we've got Daisy's Grow Clock and we've got Bill's Digital Clock anyway because we didn't want to exclude either child so they both are able to tell the time then and when it's okay to get up. This is just a uh, toy that we've got put out anyway and these are bill's bits he's collecting um coins at the moment for a beavers challenge so that's what they are and then this is just some sort of random i don't even know what this is so i'm just going to leave that there because that's gross and then this is just a lego head which has seen better days but there's some extra lego in there as well and then the decor i hate that word the decoration up here um, it's just a bit fun really so the feet are from like the little footprints are from Amazon we have this dinosaur head here which you build yourself and that is actually from not on the high street the ivy I think was from Amazon again I just think that this looks like it's a bit of fun and the kids thought it was really cool when we first revealed the room to them they loved it and then we've got some more footprints over there as well and then this is just their door so they've got their um, dressing gowns hung on the back and that is essentially their bedroom so before i go i thought i would just give you an overview of like how much space there is as well so it's not the biggest room by any means but you really do have plenty of space in the middle for the kids to play and as things go i feel like it's not too cramped and it does fit both of their needs in really nicely so that is the end of this room tour so that is the end of this room tour and i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration maybe when it comes to decorating we didn't spend too much and i'm just really pleased with the way that it turned out so as i mentioned everything will be linked down below in terms of what we used what colors we used that kind of things in terms of wall paint and all of that jazz but um yeah i hope you enjoyed it sorry again that it took so long but we were waiting on those pesky lights <laughs> to try and find ones that fit and i'm actually quite glad that I left it because I feel like I was able to explain the room a bit better and explain how it's been working for us and we're really pleased with it so hopefully as things progress in the new year and we get our extension done and stuff I'll have more rooms to show you as everything changes around the house and this bedroom then should be set up perfectly for like sleepovers when Bill's mate come round and it'll have more room to grow in it and we can always chop and change things like switch the toy box out for a desk as he gets older and move things around but as it stands we're really tough with it and I hope that you enjoyed this video so I'm gonna go now but have a lovely day whatever you're up to and I'll hopefully see you very soon. Bye!